this is a response to 1690 Connor, who had um, responded to a video of mine a few days ago, and I didn't notice it <laughs> uh, till last night, um, where he makes an interesting statement. Um, existence is relativity, or existence is relativism, I suppose. Um, that that's a, that's one of those pithy little things to make you think. Um, existence, okay. As I always say, I sort of lean heavily on the cogito to sort of anchor everything, if I dare use that term. I exist, or something exists. Um, something is on the receiving end of all these qualia. Uh, something is on the receiving end of all these perceptions. Now. When I say something, it's not quite some thing. It's just that there does seem to be something happening here in terms of something going, wow, I can see all of this. Stimuli come in, interpretation go out, goes out. So something exists in a certain way. I might not know what existence is or in what way it does exist, but something exists. Something is on the receiving end of all these impulses, and something is placing value or evaluation on everything. <clears throat> now think about that. Something is perceiving things, but it's perceiving things from a unique point of view that is kind of an aggregate, or affected at least. Now imagine perception is taking place through a lens that makes things look a certain way. Now that lens, I guess, is all of one's previous experiences. Because let's say you've had a very trouble-free existence all your life, you've had everything run smooth for you, the lens you would look through would be that life is reasonably good and um, it's worth the hassle and things are pretty okay and you would just like it to more or less continue the way it's been going. Uh, that's one lens, one prism. Another prism is, let's say that things ain't been going so great for you. You had a troubled childhood, possibly traumatized, abused, whatever. Um, empty adolescence, alienated from everybody, uh, alienated in a negative sense, uh, maybe bullied, whatever. You'd have, you know, and maybe in later life, even worse things happen. You went off to fight a war, got your leg blown off, etc. Your lens would say that life ain't so good either. It's In fact, it's oof, not, not good at all. Basically, the only thing, the only rational thing to do is to protect yourself from all the horrors out there. That's another lens, right? Which one of them is correct? Well, how do you judge? We, we can only judge anything through the prism of our experiences. So, existence itself is Relativity. I like that. I like Connor's turn of phrase there. Um, and and I, when I say turn of phrase, I'm not being facetious here. Language really can't do it for us, so we often have to get clever with language and try and use language to be non-specific and catchy and meme-like. I guess um, a lot of philosophers spoke this way. Nietzsche, of course, is the obvious example of writing in the aphoristic style, but he's the only one to have done it. Um, where you get somebody with a fairly good command of language, and they play with it a bit to try and spark something. Like it's like a Zen koan, where you're just you're trying to actually say something to kickstart someone's thoughts, thought process, or perceptive process, or whatever you want to call it, and existence as relationship is one of those pithy things that does it. I exist because I perceive perception takes place from a certain point of view. Um, a very apt. Um, kind of impressive when you think about it, isn't it? Um, and it, it does kind of help people, I think, understand what this means, this perspective idea. 
Again, I can't emphasize this enough. It's not saying that there is no truth out there. A, uh, a stereotypical um, relativist, the sort of person that gets routinely attacked by Ann Coulter or somebody like that, or I don't even know if her first name is Ann, but, you know, that right-wing columnist who's... Um, you know, or just all these people that just sort of say moral relativism is wrecking America or wrecking the world or whatever. Um, that's attacking a position that I don't have. I'm sure there are people out there who do believe that there are no fixed points and everything is relative. But that's, again, that's your textbook sophist, and we all know that that was not what, say, Socrates was saying. Um, he got poisoned and killed in Athens. Uh, for basically position people imputed to him, not a position that he actually had. He wasn't arguing the universe out of existence. Um, any more than being a quote-unquote relativist is arguing the universe out of existence. You're simply saying there's a multitude of, or there are as many perspectives on reality as there are people. As I say, you you, you place bias on everything. If I just sort of wrote the number two on a blackboard and looked at it, and I suddenly saw that number two through the prism of someone else's perception, it would look completely different, even though we're looking at exactly the same thing because of all the bias that's projected onto that simple figure on a blackboard. Why? Because that which exists has a different perspective from others that exist, or assuming there are others that exist assuming that others are not simply more perspectives that are essentially the same kind of source there. Um, the only difference between me and somebody else is our biases, right? Our experiences. Existence is followed by experience. Experience is followed by effects upon us. I exist I have experience and perceptions. I don't know if those perceptions are real or not or correspond to an external reality, but it doesn't really matter for the purposes of this epistemology. I exist. I have experiences. Those experiences leave marks on me. My prism forms over time. Everybody's prism is going to be different because everybody's perspective is going to be different. Everyone's experience is going to be completely or subtly different from everyone else's from the moment that any kind of individuation ever took place, i.e., at conception, at birth, I don't know, where does it start? Somebody else can deal with that one, I'm not going to bother with it. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that, that does make sense. Existence is relationship. Um, existence is a point of view since perception demonstrates existence. I would love to hear Connor expound expand on this. I'm not sure if he's interested, but would be nice. <laughs>